ahead tonight with new details on a chase turn shooting that spanned four counties. I'm Josh Rowe. And I'm Latricia Thomas. A man who was a few cars away from this scene sent us this picture showing the moment officers arrested one of the two suspects involved before they say a passenger pulled a gun on them. Today, News Channel 9's Mariah Rock spoke to that witness. Mariah, what did he say about how all this unfolded? Josh, Latricia, Josh Robinson says that he watched the entire thing happen. At first, he thought it was a wreck on the highway, but he couldn't believe what he saw next. A shoplifting call that Cleveland police say turned dangerous. The male uh, suspect got out of the car, pointed a weapon in his face and said, I'm going to shoot you, I'm going to kill you. And they left the area. Police say the pair drove 50 miles on I-75, picking up the attention of other agencies along the way. Josh Robinson says he witnessed law enforcement bring the chase to an end. And I hear some sirens and right as I look to the left, because they came down the fast lane side and I was in the slow lane. Robinson is a science teacher and the head football coach at North Northwest Whitfield High School. He says that he thought it was a wreck until a car that had to be going at least 80 um, flies by, slams on his brake and starts fishtailing, hits the Georgia State Patrol. His whole entire front bumper goes about 30 feet in the air and 30 feet to the right. Robinson took this picture showing one suspect in handcuffs. He thought the excitement was over. The guy was in the handcuffs. Well, come to find out, the passengers had jumped into the driver's seat and drove off. The GBI says the passenger got out of the car with two guns in her hand, pointing them at police. Investigators say Hamilton County deputies and Tunnel Hill officers fired, sending her to the ground. GBI says that the male suspect was treated for minor injuries and released from Erlanger Hospital. He's now in Whitfield County Jail on charges of possession of a firearm by a convicted offender and possession of a stolen vehicle. Latricia. Mariah, thank you. The GBI says no officers were hurt. That female passenger is in serious condition tonight. A Dade County deputy who was injured during a 